you guys i'm gonna be showing you guys a wig install featuring ash mary hair as you guys can tell i'm gonna show y'all everything that they sent me in the package got some eyelashes the wig cap i have an edge brush i have a headband you f the wig and this wig is 24 inches it's a 13 by 4 and i'm gonna show you guys the details on it this is a deep wave wig in the color red 99j yeah because this wig is like super red if y'all see how red this is oh my god like who you know mm. guys i'm gonna go ahead and start customizing my wig and i'll come back to you guys once it's ready to go ahead and start installing so y'all stay tuned keep watching make sure you guys like comment and subscribe Follow me on my socials and leave a video comment in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you guys go down below and click the link if you're interested in getting this wig because stop playing. Okay, so, you guys, it's officially the next day and my hair is currently still in this wig. We're going to go ahead and lift it up. Um, I do want to let you guys know this is the wig straight out the box. The only thing I've done to this wig was pre-plucked it. So, I'm going to go ahead and lift this wig up and then we're going to go ahead and start installing it. Okay, so you guys I went ahead in and cut off both sides of my ear tabs and now I got the wig sent exactly you know like shaping my head that's super nice I did also go in and add a little makeup under the cap which I'm gonna need a whole lot more so don't worry about that but I'm currently using my wax stick to go in and lay down you know my hair before I get ready to actually install it and so that's currently what I'm doing and when I do this as well I also look at the plucking just to you know be sure in case I need to pluck a little more so that's just a tip for you guys on like you know while we send the wig to the back before we install it and stuff and you know you just want it flat and to be able to see everything that you're working with you want all your hair out of your way that's the easiest way to mess up an install is just having hair like you know all out of place you want to just have everything in the right direction so that's kind of what I'm doing right now and I guess I decided that I am going kind of talk and guide y'all through a little bit but um yeah so for the people who don't know why we send it to the back that's why as you can tell it's all pushed back and now it's ready to you know what i'm saying get some going currently i am going to i'm trying to think if i wanted to glue this down or not but i believe i am matter of fact matter of fact I don't think I am actually y'all. I think I'm actually gonna spray this down. So I'm gonna use my Elbin spray and I'm literally almost out. So if I go out, I'm gonna be using got to be glue, which I hate that because you know how it get caked up. So I'm gonna just spray it around here and then take my lace and lay it over and blow dry it. I'm gonna do one, you know, side at a time. I'm gonna do one half and one half, but I'm also doing a TikTok filming with this. So I just wanna, you know, update them as well. But yeah, y'all, the spray is easier. And I've been seeing like Elbin spray, the Wonderlace, y'all. Get y'all some Wonderlace spray because it's going to hold your wigs down. And I spray literally around the perimeter of like where I have my um wig at. And I flip it back just a, back the amount like, <laughs> let me just stop talking y'all because I can't concentrate. So I'm going to go in and spray this a little bit. You know what I'm saying. And as of right now, I have about two layers of spray on. So I'ma just fan this. And y'all, actually, I like to fan it because I have a blow dryer, but I just found out fanning it just give it a better effect rather than like the blow dryer. That's why people using the mini fans now versus the heat because the heat be sweating it up sometimes. If you know, you know. My lace down. I go with this blow dryer and y'all see the combs on it. That's what I use to kind of like comb my lace into the glue, into the spray, if that makes sense. So if y'all see that, that's kind of what's going on. And yeah, y'all just, you know, keep watching. I'm going to show y'all how. Oh, I'm going to come back to you guys once the lace is stuck. I'm going to um, also lay my band on there and, you know. Okay, 
So you guys, I have just lifted off my band. And y'all know that band gonna do the trick every time. So another tip that I like to do, y'all, I like to go in and kind of like, you know, play with my edges and kind of like lift them up. Just a little bit, kind of comb through them so they won't be so like stuck and everything. Since I did spray it before I laid it down. And I also want to take a wipe and wipe around. Well, I'm going to do that once I take off the um, lace. So, how I cut my lace, y'all. I cut it into three pieces and then I slip, well, maybe four, just however many pieces I want. And then I use this little eyebrow razor and I go ahead and clean it up. So, um, that's exactly what we finna do. Hell no, I ain't wearing no got Yeah. Not that legal guardian that nigga get that nigga smarty pen. I know Navy Feather, they not army me nigga like they my doorman. What? How I come to wherever you board it? Bitch get your all Twitter. Hoes be thinking shit. Cause I like pink and I like glitter. Look at me, that's why they bitter. I can't date no white man cause I'm and I'm not playing. Be a little tuck of the town. Okay, I'm gonna go okay, so y'all, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go through and make it look like magic. I'm gonna go ahead and put this makeup on because that's gonna eat every time. I don't know if y'all see, but that's gonna eat every time. Okay, so y'all. Now that I have my makeup around the perimeter, as y'all can tell, it's definitely blended in a whole lot better. Super nice, super cute. So I'm finna go in with my Q-tip and just kind of like wipe around the hairline just to clean up some of this like extra glue and um, makeup to go through. Ooh, y'all, I cut my head, it's bleeding. Wow, I cut my head, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's bleeding. This is the behind the scenes struggles of um of a wig install but you know when it comes together yeah you know what i'm saying like right now it's cute and i'm debating on how i'm gonna style this y'all because i don't know but we gonna find out boo. we is gonna find out boo so um yeah Okay, so y'all, currently I'm going through and making sure that this flip over is as flat as it can be. Or as flat as I would like it. So I'm taking a little bit of my elbow spray and I spray it on top. And then I go in. Oh, y'all, I'm just getting heavy. Then I go in with my comb first and I comb it through the way I want it to lay and then i go in with my hot comb and i lay it down like and i make sure i touch the roots as well like the front of my wig you know what i'm saying just so it can lay all in that direction Okay, so y'all, I just want to get my camera right. <clears throat> okay, so y'all, it's a tad bit later, and I do want to say I'm am, I, I'm having trouble laying these edges. I don't know what it is, but it's like right by the root of the lace, the edges curl, and then this part, you know, they stand in place, but you know, the root part is just like lifting up. It's like, I don't know. I think it's giving like human hair for real, for real, like with the edges because it's like they won't even, <laughs> they won't even lay y'all. So currently, this is what I'm looking like, a freaking mess. <laughs> I ain't gonna say a mess because I feel like I look cute. Um, I am gonna go in and make this just a bit more, like just to have it. Kind of already coming over into my face. 
Um, I do kind of want it to cover. So we, oh y'all, I don't like how I got it so like up like that. So we gonna also calm that down. Um, I'm trying to see if this is a great spot that I want it. Y'all just got hair flying everywhere. So what's wrong? You open the door. Okay, so you guys, this is the finished product of my hair. Super nice, super cute. Um, This wig was very easy to manage. I did not wet the hair on anything. This is exactly how the wig came, and it's been combed out and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is super nice, super cute. I decided to put two braids in it, one over here and one over here. As you guys can tell, um, they're just normal braids um they are a little cricket and stuff and i just kept it curled at the end just so it can kind of like blend in with the hair if you guys can tell um they're supposed to be like fishbone type of braids but they actually aren't um one thing that i can say with this wig is i am struggling to like get the baby hairs to lay all the way down but as of right now you guys can see my baby hairs are done um this one does kind of look you know what i'm saying cray cray But only if you're looking for it to look cray, -cray, cray cray. If not, then it's just like an edge and it's just in there. So this is pretty much my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to let you guys get a last little look so y'all can see what's tea.